Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to enable Remedy SmartIT Progressive Web Application. First of all, we have to go to the Classic Remedy console and locate the Applications tab from your left. Then expand it and select AR System Administration. Then go to AR System Administration console. And from the next menu, you have to expand System Option and then go to General. From General menu, you have to locate the Centralized Configuration option. This will route you to the Centralized Configuration form. From this form, you have to go to the Component Name and expand the menu. From this menu, you have to select the arcsystem.bmc.arcs.mid tier. From this setting name, you have to select the second option, the one related to Docker MT Cluster User. This setting is going to be useful in order to validate the URL you are pointing this setting. This setting should be pointing to your SmartIT server. The name of this setting is arsystem.security in frame allow from URLs. And as you can see, this is pointing to the support SmartIT URL. This is a sample related to my environment, but you have to validate you have the same from yours. The next option we have to validate or set it's from the next setting name. It's the one related to SmartIT. So you have to select the asterisk. This one is going to set the global settings. From component name com.bmc.arcs.smartIT, we have to locate the next setting name. Setting name is mid-tier base.url and we have to check that the URL is the same from our AR server. This is again related to my environment but you have to validate that the URL you are selecting is the one from your AR system. After validate this you have to go to another component name. The next component name is com.bmc.arcs.server.shared. You have to select the asterisk in order to give in order to get the settings for global. From this setting list, we have to search for the setting name Enable progressive views. In this case, it's set to true using the letter T. So this is going to show you the information related to the setting we are modifying. This is the way the option is showing in the SmartIT when it's enabled. Again, this is a ticket created as a test, so that's why we are not seeing information related to this. As we can see, the option is enabled and we can see some squares in color orange. Now we are going to disable the same option. We are going to set this setting as false using letter F. Then save changes using apply button. And now I'm going back to the SmartIT console in order to refresh browser. And as you can see, the option is displaying different values or options. Now the orange orange buttons are not displayed because the um, because the setting has been disabled. Thank you for watching this video.